Hi, this is Nick from Con Floral and Greenhouse in the Tree Lot, and today I want to talk to you about Canadian hemlocks. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is a dwarf variety called Gracilis. And you can see it has a nice mounding habit, kind of cascades over. It's a nice small variety for shady landscapes. It'll only get three to five feet tall and five to six feet wide in about 10 years, so it's quite slow growing. It prefers morning sun, afternoon shade, and really good soil. It doesn't like heavy clay and it doesn't want to be too dry, so not sandy soil either. You want to make sure it has consistent moisture, so make sure it's mulched and watered. It's not a heavy fertilizer user. You don't have to fertilize it every year. Uh, if you do want to fertilize it, just use a slow-release fertilizer like Osmocote or the Espoma Garden Food. The second hemlock we have is just the standard Canadian hemlock. It's a very tall evergreen tree. It is also slow growing, but it can eventually hit 60 or 70 feet high, 35, 40 feet wide. Similar growing conditions, it likes a cooler, shadier spot, especially in the afternoon. It doesn't like the hot sun. You know, good drainage, but not dry. It doesn't like our heavy clay soils, and it likes a consistent moisture to really grow well. I have seen it grow a good 8 or 10 inches a year in spots where it's happy, you know, where it has consistent moisture, good rich soil, same kind of fertilizing regimen. You can use a slow release like Osmocote just once a year, do it in spring, in April, as soon as it's warm enough for you to get outside. Um, other than that, they're very easy to grow. They, the normal tall variety takes shearing very well. It can be used as an informal hedge or it can be used as a specimen tree. It can be used in groups for screening and the dwarf one is great in rock gardens or as an accent to you know shady hosta beds or other perennial borders because it doesn't get very large it blends in very well with other perennial varieties or smaller shrubs. Yeah I got a surprise 